Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So over the past few weeks, a lot of people have been harassed as a result of purchasing or streaming Hogwarts Legacy, and a lot of the focus has been directed at what's been going on with Silvervale, but I think another victim of this bullying campaign has been left in the dust. And that person is the VTuber Pikami, who has been unwillingly thrown into the political discourse surrounding Hogwarts Legacy after she simply hinted that she might stream the game. The harassment she has received as a result is something that really angered a lot of people. Besides the pointless abuse over a video game, Pikami also has a reputation for being an extremely kind person. The timing of this drama and the related bullying, followed by her recent inactivity, has concerned many of her fans. And while cry bullies on Twitter will claim that Pikami was never harassed as the result of the Hogwarts Legacy drama, it's clear that these harassment campaigns have had an effect on Pikami. And before we get into the details of that drama, let's inform or remind ourselves who Pikami is and why she is so widely praised. So Pikami made her debut back in 2020 and quickly gained a substantial following. Not only is her content entertaining, but she also has a unique skill set that appeals to both Japanese and English speaking viewers. Pikami, as the daughter of a Japanese mother and an American father, is fluent in both Japanese and English, languages that, at times, she flips between in nearly every other sentence. It's a bedroom! Yay! Bedroom! Bedroom! Also, there's a laptop. Ooh, we can do streaming! Ooh! Look, there's a laptop! Am I sitting down? どう座ってる<笑><笑> But bilingual abilities and funny clips aside, the main question at the forefront of this video is how did this VTuber, who has a reputation of being a wholesome tea kettle, find herself in the middle of this disgusting and vicious discourse surrounding the Hogwarts Legacy game? Well, back on February 7th, Pikami made this tweet stating that she is joining Hogwarts. Unfortunately, this innocent post took place during not only her recent hiatus from streaming, but also during a time where Twitter users are witch hunting current content creators willing to stream this game. And only hours later, after rounds of harassment from largely English speaking Twitter users, Pikami deleted her post and tweeted, I am just a kettle who wants to play the games. Playing this game doesn't mean I'm supporting something specific. I just want to play the game, that's all. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day. In case it wasn't obvious, the initial harassment she received for simply showing an interest in the game affected her enough to step away from it entirely. And harassers like this would comment under that post and other posts, since her original tweet was deleted, calling her all kind of names and making ridiculous accusations against her, where of course, her second tweet would also end up getting deleted shortly after as well. And due to the fact that these events happened very quickly, there are a few screenshots of the harassment that Pikami received, which has unfortunately served as a narrative for Twitter users to claim that Pikami was never actually harassed in the first place. But based on the few available screenshots, the deleting of her tweets, and her current hiatus from social media, there's plenty of circumstantial evidence to show that she was quite literally bullied off of the internet for even considering streaming this game. To give you an idea of how disingenuous Twitter users are, not only did they claim that Pikami was never harassed, but they still, as of this video, claim that Silvervale was never harassed, despite her claims of being doxxed, and the hundreds of archived screenshots you can find in my previous videos, or in other Twitter threads documenting the hate directed towards her. So that gives you a pretty good idea of the mindset of people who have attempted to claim Pikami was never harassed. Beyond the initial wave of harassment, another reason a lot of fans are concerned about her well-being has to do with her roughly three-week-long silence on social media ever since these events unfolded. Her last tweet came shortly after the drama ensued, where she simply wished her followers a good night. Scrolling through the quote retweets and replies, the message becomes pretty clear. 
fans and even impartial onlookers wishing the best for her and reassuring her that she is not at fault for anything that happened related to the Hogwarts legacy drama. But yes, like I said, that is the last public interaction she has had since February 7th. She has not tweeted or even liked a single post in three weeks, nor has she posted any other content like streams on Twitch or YouTube, which has continued her hiatus there. And guys, do you hear this wind? Do, do you hear this? Do you hear what I deal with? It's either that or it's this goddamn computer about to shit the bed. My apologies, I know this is a, this is a very uh, high quality production here. Now one thing I want to address before we go forward is a lot of people have been pointing at her Twitch channel claiming that she deleted all of her VODs. While I get the concern given her recent inactivity, the wiping of those VODs are actually an automated function of Twitch. Since Pikami is not a Twitch partner, her VODs get deleted after 14 days. Obviously, the timing of that was pretty unfortunate and led a lot of people to rightfully think that maybe she deleted them, but I can assure you that is not the case. However, her silence on social media over the past few weeks has not stopped users like this from posting slanderous tweets accusing Pikami of being a transphobe. Now, curiously, Pikami wasn't the only VTuber targeted by this post. So too was Silvervale and Iron Mouse as well. Now, what the hell did Iron Mouse do to end up in this hit list, accusing her of being a transphobe? Well, let's watch the clip that this user claimed was proof that she was a transphobe. I think that everybody is entitled to their opinion. And I think that everybody is entitled to support whatever the f*** they want to support. And you know what? That That's on you, whatever you want to support. However, comma, I believe that no one deserves to be harassed and no one deserves to be attacked and no one deserves to be bullied and no one deserves to be feel threatened no one deserves to live in fear every day of their life that is not right and i think there's a lot of positive ways to get a message across without having to make somebody feel bad well there you have it folks iron mouse is a transphobe according to this twitter freak for stating that people shouldn't be harassed and bullied over differing opinions. Which is really reflected by the current status quo of not only Twitter, but social media in general, where if you have a disagreement with someone over an issue, no matter how trivial, the socially acceptable response is to completely disavow from them, call them a bunch of buzzwords, bully them, and then block them. The issue is not that people can't seem to agree on anything, the issue is that people don't know how to disagree on anything and how to maintain civility when it happens. I also find it funny how arbitrary and inconsistent the war effort on Hogwarts Legacy has been. There are thousands of large streamers, including VTubers, who streamed Hogwarts Legacy with virtually no blowback on Twitter. And yet, content creators like Pikami and Silvervale are put front and center and find themselves the main target of harassment Meanwhile, you have massively popular VTubers like Shy Lily expressing opinions that would normally get you cancelled, but for some reason she's an afterthought. Not to say she should be cancelled in the first place, by the way. But just listen to this clip of Shy Lily describing her views of Hogwarts Legacy and all of the drama. It pretty much mirrors the same points we've shared on this channel. Honestly, I don't understand why one would boycott a game that has no attachment to her whatsoever apart from the franchise itself because of her bad takes. The jobs and future of thousands of people that worked on it are connected to that game and the hard work they have put into it. It's the same as being a teacher at a school and a principal does something f***ed up and people boycott the whole school and unemploy multiple teachers and janitors and everyone involved. It's just dumb. But people are so stuck in their own mew, mew, mew. silly little goddamn snowflakey bubble that they don't care about that. They just want to boycott one person's L takes, rightfully so, by damaging thousands of other people. And that rubs me the wrong way. Now, I know I went on a bit of a tangent there, but like I said, it just goes to show you that Twitter will selectively enforce their standards against VTubers. 
Not that Shy Lily or any of these people should be harassed, like I said, but unfortunately, Pikami got the raw end of the deal. And I won't lie to you guys, her planned hiatus coupled with her inactivity since the harassment took place, I share the concerns of her fans. And all I can say at this point is that I hope she's doing well and I'm one of the countless people who know she did nothing wrong and I eagerly await her return to streaming and social media. But that's gonna do this video. Uh, please share all your thoughts about this topic in the comments section down below. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.